Oreo mud cups are a delicious way to make it seem like you're not dieting, but you really are. This delicious recipe will keep you on track when you're dieting, but also satisfy your sweet tooth. But before we go into the recipe, I'm looking at the analytics. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you guys hit that like, follow, subscribe button, the bell notification to be notified anytime we post new content, it helps the channel grow, it's free for you, and it helps push my channel out to people just like you that are looking for recipes just like this. Thanks guys. The first ingredient we're gonna use is some whey protein. I went with Echo Vision's brown sugar cookies and cream. We're gonna use half a scoop. If you guys wanna pick this up, go to echovision.com or use the link down below. Use code LIFT to save 10% off. I have half a scoop right here measured out. We're just gonna throw it in the bowl. The next ingredient we're using is some zero calorie sweetener. I went with the monk fruit sweetener. You can use Splenda, you can use Truvia, whatever works. We're gonna use 10 grams. I have 10 grams right here measured out. We're gonna just throw it into the bowl. Next, we're gonna use some Jello pudding mix. I went with the zero sugar, fat-free chocolate pudding mix to really bring out that chocolate flavor. We're gonna use one serving, which is 10 grams. Now we wanna mix all of this together. So I like to use a fork because guess what? It mixes everything nice and neat. You can use a spoon, you can use a spatula, you can use a whisk, whatever. But we don't want any clumping, so this is why I'm using a fork to make sure that everything's nice and mixed together. You see that? Look at this. Boom, perfect. And you should get something like this. Put this off to the side. The next ingredient is three Oreo Thins. So open up your package. Look at this, I got a brand new package right here for you guys. I'm gonna grab three. A serving size is four, but this recipe calls for three. So let's close this up. Perfect. Grab an empty bowl. Grab a butter knife to split these out, or you can use your fingers. I like to use the butter knife because guess what? It makes it so much easier. Look at that. Boom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape off the white stuff. We're gonna throw our Oreos inside. And you can stack them. This actually helps, so if you stack them like that, so that the white stuff, look, you can use your fingers too. Just gently move back and forth, back and forth, and they split open. Oh, we got a bit of the white stuff right here. Grab that, there we go. Scrape that, scrape that, scrape that. Perfect, throw it off to the side. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Our second stack. And then the last one, one, two, three. Be very careful, cause look, boom. They are so gentle. Cause they're Oreo thins. All right. Now you wanna save this for later. Grab a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag. We're gonna throw the Oreo thins inside. Make sure there's no air. So I use a bread roller because it's very easy to crush this, but you can use a mallet, a spoon, anything you'd like, but I'm using a bread roller. And you can see. Very easy to just make it into little pieces. And we're done. Grab another empty bowl, and this is gonna be used as our bottom layering. Now we're not gonna use the whole entire thing, but we're gonna use pretty much almost all of it. As you can see, make a good solid layering and save a little for our filling. So now we have crushed Oreos for our bottom layer. Throw this off to the side. The next ingredient is gonna be non-fat Greek yogurt. We're gonna use 120 grams. We're gonna throw it into a separate bowl. 
We have 120 grams right here measured out in a separate bowl. Next, grab your Oreo filling and we're gonna mix this into the Greek yogurt. Take that right off the fork. Sorry, the knife, it's a knife, not a fork. And we're gonna now mix it in. Mix it in so that the Greek yogurt has that little taste of the Oreo filling. Make sure you mix it not very gently. I would say violently. So that way you don't just have little bits and pieces of it randomly. There we go. And you can see, mixed very well. Perfect. Throw that off to the side. So the next ingredient we have is some fat-free milk. I'm using Fairlife because it's higher in protein. We're gonna use 40 milliliters. I have 40 milliliters right here, all measured out. Grab your dry bowl and now throw in the 40 milliliters of milk. Mix it all together so that way you have a kind of like almost like a syrup. It should be thick, that's exactly what we want. Make sure all of the powder is mixed in. Twist the bowl. I'm gonna use a spoon for this because fork is just not needed right now. All right, I got a spoon and you can see it's so much easier with a spoon. For the dry part, I feel like the fork is good, but for the wet part here, you can see the spoon is so much better you should have something like this. Syrup, perfect. Now grab your Greek yogurt and mix it into the syrup, quote unquote. Now that's mixed all together, grab the remaining portions of your Oreos and mix it into the mixture. Perfect. Now we mix it all together. Make sure there is no Greek yogurt left unmixed. So make sure you're very thorough with your mixture. should have something like this. Perfect. Now grab your crushed Oreo base and throw the mixture right on top. Make sure it gets in nice and evenly. Perfect. Now, grab the bottom edge of your spoon and we're gonna make a nice flat surface. It's easier if you just have the edge of the spoon and just circle the base, just like so. Perfect. Now we throw this off to the side. The next ingredient is gonna give us that nice hard shell. It's the Hershey's hard shell topping. We're gonna to use 15 grams. So for this, grab a food scale, throw that right there. Grab your mix, throw it right on top. Make sure you zero it out. Change it to grams. Shake the bottle. And we're gonna throw 15 grams right on top. So I would go for the center first and then work your way around. So 
that's about 13. And then we have a little couple edges right there. That's 14. Let's get about 15. Perfect. 15 grams. Now we can remove the food scale. Now I would refrigerate this for about an hour or two, depending on how cold your refrigerator is, or you can leave it overnight and seal it. As shown in the video, Echo Vision Protein Powder. If you guys use Code Lift to save 10% off on their protein powders, they have pre-workouts, flavored creatine, they even have clothing. I'm wearing their blank fitted tee, fitted on the chest, shoulders, and arms, but look at this. Stomach, nice and loose. I use this to lounge around, do cardio, do leg sessions. I use their cutoffs for arm day, obviously. If you guys wanna save 10% off, link down below, go to echovision.com, use code LIFT to save 10% off. We have the final product. Look at this. Boom, the Oreo on the backside, hard shell. Guys, I don't even know what to explain. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but guess what? Let's, let's do this thing, ready? Oh yeah, look, you see that? Crack, crack. Say crack again, crack. Look at that. There we go, look, look at that. There we go. Chocolate, Oreo. Mmm. How is this? How is this calorie friendly? I'll go again. Ready? Ready? Oh yeah. Crushed Oreos on the bottom. You got the Oreo like pudding. I don't even. Yeah, sure. Let's call it pudding. Soft, and then you got the hard shell right on top. Second, second bite. Guys, this is ridiculous. One more, one more, one more. One more for you guys. Let's get a big scoop. Look at, look, just look at it. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta stop eating this because I'm gonna destroy this whole entire thing right now. Guys, this whole entire thing right here. I made this a few times throughout the week. You could throw that cap right on top and sit it in the fridge for overnight. This is a great, delicious dessert. And let me tell you the calories. This whole entire thing, this thing right here, 385 calories, 37 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein. 30 grams of protein for this thing, like, can you eat desserts on a diet? I think you can. All right, as always guys, if you like the video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button down below, the bell notification to be notified anytime we post new content. Anything I'm affiliated with, links down below, and we'll see you guys next time for another video.